everyone, welcome back. It's Rachel with Living the Journal Life, and we are back in my Hobonichi cousin during my first no kit week of 2024. So this is a challenge where I'm going to use up leftovers, washi, you know, anything and everything, bits and bobs. And this week I had it pretty easy because I have so many leftovers that I essentially just made myself a kit. And so it's all fairly cohesive and was pretty easy to use. I think for the first few months, if I'm just using straight up leftovers, I'm gonna have a very easy time with this challenge. Later in the year, maybe not as much. So we're gonna set up Friday and Saturday. I have these freebies that I cut out. The Rachel one is from Sweet Kawai Design. The one with the cute little ears is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I've pulled out some uh, bits and bobs that I think I might use, some washi tape. And yeah, I got this um, reusable sticker album for, or reusable sticker book from Sweet Kawai Design. And I wasn't 100% what I was gonna, knew what I was gonna use it for. I knew I wanted it for this plan as I go challenge to organize stuff. And I've already started using it to pull out some bits and bobs for February's challenge. And it's gonna work out so great. So I can kind of get a cohesive look of the uh, stickers on the page next to each other. And I think it'll be really fun as time goes on. And it is cold. So we got a little tiny bit of snow last night. It is currently Friday when I'm filming this. And Thursday night on the 11th, we got a teeny tiny bit of snow, but it was more like, I don't know, sleet snow. It was more like ice. It was, it was like straight up ice falling from the sky. So I woke up to a slight dusting of ice and it is, I think currently about 18 degrees right now. And so it's all still ice. And with the wind chill, it feels much colder. It feels like it's about 10 degrees to me when I walk outside. And brr, that is cold for the Seattle area. If I was still living on the East Coast, I'd probably be much more used to it. But whew, here it feels so cold. So I did uh, make sure this morning first thing to go out and grab the hummingbird feeder. I did brand new food for them because I make it just with water and sugar and I put it out warm and it still froze pretty quick. So I'm gonna have to be taking that in and out all day. The poor little hummingbirds, every time I take it, they're like, where did our food go? There was this food and it was actually liquid. Uh, same thing with the birds. My husband went out and filled up the bird feeder and we're just trying to keep all of the critters in food so that they can just go to their nice warm nests and not have to be out in this weather as much and work so hard for their food. Uh, we try not to overfeed wildlife because that, is sort of bad for the environment. But on days like this, we, we just give out, everybody gets food. <laughs> everybody that wanders in the yard gets a little bit of food. Um, so I thought it would be fun to use up a couple of these um, freebies and you can kind of see how I put them down. Uh, you can trim them and if you're doing it on two pages, it's really, really forgiving and you just sort of have to barely line it up. So that's why I like if you ever notice that I'm doing things over two, plus I think it's more fun to have it spilling between two pages, but it's also because it's much easier and it's much more forgiving when you lay it down. There's not less, a lot of bubbles and stuff. These ones from Itty Bitty Sticker Co, because they're not the vinyl, they stay a little bit more rigid. So the freebies are very easy to put down. And I, you saved this uh, I'm cold 24 seven because I really enjoy the cold. I love winter. I'm not one of those people that complains all summer and all winter. I can't do heat. I'm a wimp with the heat, but I love the cold. So I usually don't use that sticker, but it's cold enough that I might be uh, a little chilly this week. I have my um, new hand warmers on that I got for cr from Christmas. These ones are Jane Austen Persuasion, which is my favorite Jane Austen book. Um, well, one of my favorite Jane Austen books. I also have a uh, Dracula that's older. This is just the new one, so they're kind of shiny and I wanted to wear them to keep my little hands warm because it is chilly. My house isn't really chilly. The heater is doing fine. We have lots of firewood, so I'm not really complaining. It's just, I keep walking outside to get the hummingbird feeder and I keep not putting on any sort of warm thing. So I'm walking outside. This morning I didn't even have pants on. I just had a little sweater over my nightgown and boy that was cold because I just needed to make sure everything got this food but it's fine. 
it's all fine. <laughs> I warm up as soon as I get inside. Um, and I was just trying to pick a good color and I thought the blue would be fun because there's a lot of purple going on. So I wanted to get a little bit more blue going on the page. Really winter blue and purple, you can't go wrong no matter what. But I thought this just pulled in a little bit more of that blue that is with the penguins at the bottom. And I'm going through my fountain pens just to see what sort of colors I have. Um, I kind of wanted to do something because I've been using the ink in my mini for all week now, but that's just the one that matches the best because I've been staying with this wintry sort of theme. And that's just the one that went the best. So I'm doing this, I filmed this in the early afternoon after I'd already done some stuff. I wanted to make sure that I got some stuff done. So I planned like when I sit down as part of my morning routine and go, okay, what do you need to get done this week? And I have a little sticky note off to the side of just all the things that I could think of to download from my brain from this morning. And because I didn't have the page decorated, I didn't want to put it on the page yet because I knew I'd be doing it. You do not have to decorate your pages every day. You do not have to make it look pretty. You do not have to have any effort. Just scribble something on the page if you want. I just w knew I was going to do this video and I wanted to make it cute and I didn't want to have to work around the writing. So I just did it on a sticky note temporarily. And then I need, I know that I always do pizza crusts on Saturday and sometimes I just have a brain fart and don't, even though I do it every week and I don't do them until very late and then, uh, cause they take a long time to rise and they're gluten free and dairy free. So they're very fiddly and uh, it's just something that I, <laughs> I write down every Saturday and you'd think that I would remember to do it every Saturday, but sometimes I'm just so tired and lazy by the time Saturday comes. I don't remember it until it's two or three o'clock in the afternoon and then, you know, that then I'm rushing and I don't like to rush. I'm not a rushing person. I'm a slow and steady wins the race person. And I was looking up our temperatures because I, I couldn't even guess. <laughs> Most days you can guess it's in the 40s and the lows in the 30s, but now it is so cold and I love it as long as I have pants and a jacket. <laughs> It is sunny though. It is very bright and sunny. Um, it's not the sun when I open the curtains. It's it's that sun that's not actually warming things. So I'm keeping the curtains closed, which is very weird. As soon as the sun is out, unless it's summer, I have all the window the curtains open, and I really get that free heat from the sun. But it's actually let because it's so cold outside. It's letting in cold air more than it is some warm air so that's a very that tells you how cold it is and oh my gosh you guys if you haven't the penny pages she was talking about what it's like in canada north of us here and they, it is it is insanity it's like negative 40 fahrenheit it, it, i don't i don't know how do you even function with that 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 is too cold i like cold that is too cold so I'm just checking back in my with my weekly, checking in with my monthly, and we are all set to rule the land. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will show you the after the pen of this when we do our setup for next week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.